guys and welcome back to another video. I'm your host Jeff as usual and in today's video I want to speak about the Beach Bomb Part 2 DLC. Now nothing is confirmed about this DLC yet. This is a speculation video and if you do not enjoy these kind of speculation videos I highly recommend you click off because this is going to be a video where I speculate and make almost like a fake DLC and show you guys what a DLC will look like if there were to be a Beach Bomb Part 2 and I'm also going to be describing why that is a strong possibility for it coming out. Before I start off today's video, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. Also, I am doing a Q&A on the channel. I want you guys to comment your questions down below anything Grand Theft Auto 5 or Grand Theft Auto 6 related, let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to feature as many questions as possible. But with that said, let's go and hop right on in. So starting things off, usually in the speculation videos I do, I try to make a DLC and go over every single part that will be coming with the DLC if it were to be a legitimate update. So, as I said in the beginning, today we're going to be doing Beach Bomb Part 2, and we're going to be starting this update off with, of course, marketing. What is it going to include, and how is Rockstar going to market it? If you guys remember when GTA 5 first came out, the first DLC to ever hit the game was the Beach Bomb update. Now everyone now says it was the worst update, I think it wasn't the worst, I think the Flight School update was the worst, it was definitely the second worst because it really didn't have any good content, the cars were very mediocre and everything included was just meh. But part 2 will definitely be different if they were releasing it. It will definitely have some kind of beach feel and there will definitely be new game events, in-game events such as in um, free mode or something along those lines that take part on the beach because again it is the Beach Bomb DLC. Now going along with that cars, they are going to include a whole bunch of off-road vehicles that are designed for the sand and the beautiful weather. By off-road I don't mean like a huge sand king with a huge roof on top. I mean something pretty small, pretty light, with maybe like even an electric engine, something that you can just cruise around in during your stay at the beach. You can just cruise around really nice. It can be fast, it can be slow, but as long as it has that beach kind of feel to it and that little off-road feel, that would definitely fit in with a DLC. Moving on with the weapons that they're going to add, I really don't know what to say for the weapons. Definitely they should add some new weapon tints, maybe something like a little colorful for the beach bomb, maybe like a weapon tint with like a wave on it or something to represent the beach, something along those lines, just something very small, no need to add any new weapons, something along those lines will definitely be nice. Moving on to clothes, definitely something like swimwear for the beach. Now as you know they already have a whole bunch of swimwear, but definitely some new designs won't kill at all, something along like some kind of waves as I said with the gun, something along those lines definitely would be nice and that is it for the clothing. Now again that is pretty much the whole DLC, now the question remains, is this going to be a DLC that Rockstar would actually release? Now with all the stuff I stated right now, you're probably thinking that something is missing with this DLC, something is incomplete, like there's only cars, it's just a minimal DLC and there's nothing big and especially that we didn't have a DLC for months now inside the game, it is kind of weird that they would release a DLC so small and with pretty much nothing in it. Now personally I think this DLC would not be possible unless if they add something fairly big on top of it. Cars, weapons, and clothing is getting kind of old now. They need to take that base product and add an expansion on top of that. So take that DLC I just made up here and put something on top whether maybe it's a new heist or something. Something along those lines, just one new heist, maybe somewhere towards the beach. Something along those lines would definitely be great and it would definitely make the DLC something that people will really enjoy. So yeah, as I said before, this not it's not a really new DLC. This is something I made up and it is part of my speculation series where I make up these DLCs just to let you guys know what it would be like if we were to receive a DLC that is highly requested in the community. If you have anything to add to this DLC or you want to see something added in a future DLC, let me know in the comments down below. As I said in the beginning, I am hosting a Q&A very soon on my channel, so let me know in the comments down below some questions regarding GTA 5 and GTA 6. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below for more daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content. Anyways, my name is Jeff, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.